Hi everyone, I'm just doing another review for you today. Um, this is, is of another beauty box and this is for Jolie Box. Um, I just got this last week. Uh, they have completely redesigned the packaging. Before they were very similar to Glossy Box and the fact that they had how they packaged the products, that they had the bow around them, things like that. Um, and they've completely revamped that. That's completely different now. So they have, you know, kept the smaller box. I do like it's a shoe box style rather than the flat lid, but um, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a bit smaller so it concerns me about how like what size products you can get in there um, and then now instead of having the, the, the nice packaging where it looks quite high end you get this like little goodie bag almost um, I have mixed feelings about this uh, A I don't know how well this protects the products from when it's been delivered um, nothing glass oh, there's, yeah some glass but um, I don't know really because there's no packaging at all like to protect them so um, yeah it concerns me about how, how well packaged these are and also I just don't think it looks as high end as it did before I think it just looks like they throw some products into a bag and haven't put the same amount of thought that Glossy Box do um, with, their, with, their, with their boxes so that's one thing that's um, one change that I'm not really a big fan of and I can't really see because um, at least with the glossy boxes and stuff, I will reuse the packaging, um, you know, to, to give people for gifts because it looks really nice. Um, I'm not going to reuse these, uh, and I probably aren't. I'm not, probably not going to keep, you know, bags and bags of bags of these. They're just going to be thrown out. So I don't think that they're. It's not very good for the environment because at least I can use the glossy box stuff over. So yeah, they had just this menu card. Um, and so they just say on here and there's like a little blurb on the back which is nice uh, again they don't have the prices on which is always a let down for me because i just like to know how much everything is um and they also apparently list what full size but i'll go into that in a minute the first thing i got is this jane eridel just kiss cheek and li uh, lip and cheek stain in forever pink um, so this is a stain an all natural multi-purpose stain that adjusts color to your mood and temperature um, now I've used this on my lips, um, well when you first put it on, uh, I've actually got something else on there but it's this one here, and when you first put it on you can't see anything but it does bring up a colour. Um, I don't think it's overly amazing from what I used yesterday, uh, I had it on and it was fine but I don't think it gave me a whole lot of colour. I also think that the sample size is really 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 tiny. Um, which is fine, um, but it just, I, I think all the Jane Iridale stuff is really, really tiny samples. Um, the next one is the Lavera Hand Cream. Um, and I actually really like this. I've actually been looking for a, not, I probably wouldn't go out and buy a hand cream, but this smells really nice and it's really, really smooth to go on. Um, and this is a, yeah, just a hand cream and it's got it's like, super sensitive skin, so that's really good and it's really it's a really good size just to have in your handbag the next one is by macadamia and this is the deep repair mask now this is listed as a full size product i have the um the actual conditioner and this is not a full size product this is maybe a full size sample but it's not a full size product um so i don't know how they can list that as a full size product on here um, it's kind of false advertising because that's not a full size product it's a full size sample but not a full size product um, so that's a bit confusing um, I haven't actually used it yet um, as you can see but I haven't actually used the condition because I've only just got it um, but if it's anything like what I've heard it's meant to be really good so I'm really excited about trying that anyway um, I'm a bit annoyed that I've already purchased the thing before trying this out but never mind um, and what's really good it's all natural so there's like no no silicones in it either. Um, I don't think so. Mainly oils. Oh, there's, there's, there is some silicone in there, but it's a very, very small amount. It's not like way down the list, pretty much. Okay, and then the next item is by Kima, and they actually list what product you could have got, uh, which I also think find is strange because at least with the glossy box, they just list what you did get, and then you have to go on the website if you want to know what everyone else got. Um, but basically you would have got Kima or cleansing oil um, well the Kima rejuvenating face system facial system or the RMK cleansing oil and um, this is a face oil and 
a hydro activator. I at first thought this was perfume, but it's actually like a cleansing system for the face. Um, I haven't tried this yet. I need to try this at night because I don't want to try it in the day and then it's like flare me up. At least then I'll have my nighttime regime down. So I do want to try this. It sounds interesting, but it's just a bit different than my normal regime. So um, yeah, excited about that. And the last product is something that's you know interesting because I don't think they've I don't think I've seen this in a beauty box before. This is a makeup remover and it's by Taj and it's called the Himalaya Michelle Water. But it is for you can yeah it's for face and eyes makeup remover um i haven't used it yet but um yeah i've only ever used the clinique makeup remover because that i always use clinique products because um for skincare because i have quite sensitive skin especially in my face but i will definitely give this a go i think it's a really good size to have as well it's um it's 100 ml exactly so i could definitely take this on a plane with me um, and that's always a problem i have with other products so this is good it's definitely worth keeping for travel overall i think it was a good box um i definitely like the fact that there's i like the cheek and lip stain yeah you can kind of see it's gone a little bit more pinky but yeah um, i'm definitely going to be using this i can see myself using this i'm excited to try um whatever this is i'm not really sure what the process is but yeah and yeah i mean that's always handy to have so um yeah i think that was a good it's a nice box i'm, I'm just not sure on the packaging um i think that it's just a bit lazy and the other boxes look nicer um so if you are like me and you just like get a bit excited about the boxes this doesn't excite me at all um and the fact that i'm just gonna have to throw this away it just it kind of annoys me a bit because i don't think there's anything that i could probably store in here um because it doesn't stand up either um i'll have a think about it maybe i can put like nail varnishes or stuff in there but um i'm not going to keep them every month because i'd rather store stuff in the actual boxes um so yeah that's one thing but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know what you think if you've been subscribed to jolly box and if you're not as impressed as you thought you were going to be or if you're more impressed or tell me what you think and i'll see you all very soon bye